we opened for the Rolling Stones in 1964 uh, when they came to the Joe Freeman Coliseum. We were the Battle of the Bands, and we won our division. We were doing like, golly gee, and, and we won our division, and uh, so they asked us if we would open up for the the band that was going to be the, the opening bands that night. So we said, yeah, we'll open for them, and we asked them who they were. They said, the Rolling Stones. All right. No problem. <laughs> well, they were nobody at that time. <laughs> So after that, uh, the band started evolving. We, some members left. Uh, Jimmy Trevino, a.k.a. Jimmy Edward, joined my band. And uh, a bunch of other guys, Tony Rivas and Ernesto Gutierrez, who is a singer in his own right, Orita Con La Honda. And the band was supposed to be called Danny in the Dreams. And everybody kept saying, hey, Danny in the Dreamers. And, no, Danny in the Dreams. The Dreamers, I went, you know, I, I told the guys, you know, that, you know what, Danny the Dreamers, you know, we'll call it. <laughs> the Four Tops. Everybody was writing songs, Rene, Rene, Roger A and the Ethics, Little Henry Lee, and, 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 but back then we did copy songs. That's why a lot of, but copy songs from black guys. Like, I heard church bells ringing. That was a soul song. Uh, I think think nothing about it that I recorded was a guy named, uh, he had an album called The Duke of Earl. When you feel that you can make it all alone. A lot of the songs, that, that we, we, we grew up with uh, the black sound. Sort of. That's why I, I, we mix sort of a blues and, and, and soul sound into the Tejano, into the Hispanic thing. But it was mostly uh, the Four Tops, the Temptations, the Isley Brothers. Many of the songs, we, we, we just redid them and redid them our, our West Side sign. <laughs> The young and foolish laugh and love 